What's up guys, my name is Hexagon, but if you're a subscriber, you already know that. Uh, I'm here with a guide for you, because today I've been struggling. That's why I haven't uploaded a video today. I can't explain yesterday, but today I've been so busy trying to fix this thing, and I finally found the reason. Okay, so... Let's say you model your thing in Cinema 4D. Um, whether it be a shotgun like I've created here, a very, very odd shotgun, but it's going to be built from different things. Um, and in the program it looks right. In my opinion, this looks okay. The textures look like they are aligned on every every piece of the of the model, and it looks looks to to be correct. But then when you export it. And when you export to Unreal Engine 4, for example, you want to export as, as an FBX. Otherwise, it won't carry with it the uh, smoothing groups that you need for it to be, well, smooth. Um, so what you do is, of course, import it to um, Unreal Engine 4 here. And when it's imported you'll get a message saying it doesn't have any smoothing groups but it it does it does very much so uh, waiting for it to compile shares there we go then drag the model here make it larger and as with uh, anything always always categorize everything i for example have um eight different kinds of materials but it produces 12 because I use it on 12 different parts. Uh, we have barrels, uh, straps, body, handle, uh, plate, and a few other things. It's just so, so that I can change it afterwards if something were to be wrong, as I'm gonna show you here. So you've imported everything. Everything looks really good in Cinema 4D, uh, but once you import it here and you start adding materials, let's say uh, wood oak to the handle, that doesn't look right. And that doesn't look right either. What's going on here? The issue is in the program. Uh, it's not 100% that this will have happened to you, but it might have. And hopefully this guide will help you with that. And this doesn't quite look right, does it? Right. So the issue is that the uh, alignment of the the textures or the mapping here that we have is misaligned and we will fix that by marking all of the textures that you have going to coordinates and change the value here zero everything it should always be zero 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 always if there's another number zero unless you have a specific uh, texture that you apply to every different part of it that way you can use one big texture and you know that's fine that's a very good way of doing it but in this case we're using materials in the game engine and i need it to work so go back to tag and make sure that it's whichever size you want obviously depending on how much detail you want in the texture then you can remove the seamless here because it looks all right either way um, and you can see it looks very different from what it did before, even though it scaled down a bit, there, there's a different kind of seam to it. So we do this uh, one more time, export, FBX, save, and yes, replace. We go into Unreal again and we go to the model, we right click on it and re-import. You can see directly or instantly that it looks a lot better. And we have all the materials here as we should, all uh, seven of them. So when we drag a material to, let's say, the body now, or a handle, it looks a lot better. Obviously, you can change it to the way that you want it to look. Um, but this is uh, something I had a big issue with. Um, 
and I'm so glad I found the problem. Although, be it, you know, a bit late during the night here, but that doesn't matter. I'm not doing, doing anything in particular tomorrow, except for streaming. So if you want to see the stream where I do these kinds of stuff here, um, modeling and creating worlds and so on, um, feel free to join in. There we go. And that's the model. Let's just make it larger here. Let's see how it is in comparison. Well, it's far up, so we'll move it down a bit. It's a bit big, but we can deal with that. We'll move forward and press play. Right, so here is the model. And it looks a lot better than it did before. Even though you might not be able to see the way it looked before, it looks a lot better now. And I, I'm quite proud of this shotgun. It's not 100% complete. Absolutely not. But I'm very proud. Uh, we did this today, actually. Uh, there's some parts missing. We need to scale down the handle a bit. But um, as you can see here, we have an issue with smoothing. And that's because I couldn't make it work properly with uh, the FBX. Uh, but now that I've fixed that problem, I should have no problem whatsoever to import this again. And uh, same with this and this. Everything that has something round. Um, and the smoothing groups should make everything very nice. Anyway, I hope this guide helped you and I hope you enjoy this video. I know I'm having... Well, I, you might be mad at me because I'm not uploading as I should, but... The streams are getting so much attention and um, I'm trying to do everything as one person. It's very, very difficult. But I will try next week to really get on that schedule. Uh, if I don't manage that, I'm going to have to cut down videos per week because I am just uh, flooded with stuff that I need to do. Uh, but hopefully you won't hold a grudge against me. I'm, I'm really trying my best. Uh, and I'm sad that I can't upload as many videos as I would like to. But anyway, I hope this guide helped you. If you had any issues importing into Unreal Engine 4, I hope this guide helped you. If it doesn't, type down in the comments below and I will try and help you as best as I can. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Give it a like if you liked the video and I will see you guys in the next one.